the first step when setting up your uh, new CMD in your vehicle would be to load a zero map first. You're going to want to make sure that all these values are set to zero in your map versus RPM map, your boost duty cycle, math in clamp values, and map out clamp values. You're going to want to make sure they're all basically stock. You don't want any value in there that's going to cause any um, misinterpolation or whatnot. What you're going to do after this, once you know that all those values are set to zero, you're going to go into a logging pane. Uh, pay, logging page. Basically, you go to your gauge screen. As you can see, we have some active channels. We're in the vehicle right now. What we're going to do is we're going to activate logging from here, and uh, you can monitor all these channels in real time, so you can see what's going on. But just to start this log, so you can create a new tune file, all you have to do is hit this green icon here. Now we're going to start logging. We're going to drive the vehicle do a few drive cycles. You're going to want to make sure you do a few wide open throttle pulls uh, so you can um, make sure you have those higher end clamp values. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get into it here, get close enough to red line. And you can drive, do a complete drive cycle. Basically the storage on the um, PC is how long you can log for. So. You can drive all day long if you wanted to and play back a log and fill back into a histogram or whatnot. But Once you feel you have valid data, you can stop the log by hitting the stop record button. You'll be able to save the log to um, a standard directory that's already preset or one that you want to save it to. You can just name the log any file name you'd like so you can remember when you come back later. And after that, you are ready to um, start loading in your clamp values for um, for your CMD map file. Once you've created your log file uh, from a road test or dyno test, you'll go into your file manager. You're going to right click in this open area and select open. You're going to find the location where you saved your log file. This location happens to be my desktop. Open the file log. And now you can see the file log. Uh, the log file is actually now at the uh, in my file manager. You can minimize this or close it for now. What we're going to do is open a histogram view. From here, in the histogram is where I'm going to populate all of my clamp values, uh, all the numbers that I'm going to need to use to load into my map for uh, my map clamps and math clamp values. From here, I'm going to reopen file manager. I'm going to click on the um, the saved log file. As you can see, that the my channels have now become active in my X, Y, and Z axes. From here I'm going to left mouse click on fuel in. I'm going to change that to the data channel that I want to have populated inside of my histogram, which is going to be map in. My top axis is going to be engine speed. My left axis is going to be throttle position. From here I'm going to right click on um, basically my my gray area here in this histogram I'm going to go to table properties and I'm going to change uh, my X and Y axis to match my um, my map file so I'm going to ch uh, select custom change my step size to 500 rpm increment the red line on the vehicle is still 8000 so I'll leave that alone throttle position I'm going to change my maximum value just to 100% you don't have to worry about changing all these other values because realistically we're going to be working only with 90 and 100 percent values. Now you can see my my histogram has changed to match um, my actual map file. Fairly close, you can kind of tell by looking at them. From here, I'm going to go ahead and play back my log file, and as you can see, it's starting to populate um, in my histogram. We'll allow it to populate. Once it's finished populating, 
we'll copy these values out and put them into our map file. If you needed to speed up this process, we have a, a slider bar here at the top that you can move basically your bouncy ball here, your crosshair, throughout your um, throughout your map. If I needed to go back some or fast forward some, I'm able to do that with this slider bar here. Or you can just reselect play and allow it to still play back through the entire um, histogram. Once this histogram is populated, if you wanted to try to look more of a at a, um, a desired point, you could open a graph, a graph view. As you can see, we already have something open, but you could select two graphs by just selecting, as you can see, one here, two graphs here. You can change the axes. We're going to look at engine speed and throttle position. And pretty much, you know, for what we're trying to do here, we only want to look at one thing, which is going to be 100% throttle. So you could actually zoom in on a specific portion of this graph right here. So you can see that's our throttle position and this is RPM and this is our map in voltage. So now I can just take my cursor I can select this particular point. So I know at uh, 4900 RPM at 100% throttle I'm at 3.44 map in voltage. Uh, so you can you know use your cursor throughout this entire range to try to get an idea of where you're at if you if the histogram wasn't working out for you or you just wanted to see on your own. But from here we'll go back into our histogram view and we're going to copy out these values that are in our 100% throttle range. All we have to do to do that is um, basically take say from 2000 all the way out to 8000. You're going to copy that. Even though there's no values here we're still going to copy it. We're going to now reopen our map. We're going to go into map and clamp values from 2000 all the way out to 8000. We're going to right click and now paste. As you can see, those values have been populated into this map. I personally like to take the last few values and change them to the last known value um, of the client value. What is also a good idea here is to copy these values and put them in the 90% uh, throttle position row as well. This will just ensure, just in case you didn't calibrate your throttle position properly or the vehicle is a drive-by wire which in most cases they are you will you might not get to the hundred percent hundred percent throttle range on just a standard blip of the throttle at, uh, sitting in your driveway or whatnot so now we have our our client value set for map in all we'll do from here is we'll just send this to our CMD